Welcome to the Gorilla 7 video series. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to import a final draft screenplay into Gorilla Scheduling. The three file formats that Gorilla accepts are the FDX file, the SEX file, and the fountain format, which can be used if we're using Celtics. In this video, I will go over the FDX format and the SEX file for Final Draft only. Let's go ahead and open a screenplay in Final Draft. I'm using Final Draft version 12, which is different than Final Draft 10. If you're using version 10, check out the same video we made for Gorilla 6, which uses that version. If you're using Final Draft 11, this video should work for you, but we do have one made specifically for Final Draft 11 also. The first thing I want to point out is how to properly format a slug line. The slug line includes the interior exterior field, followed by a period, the set field, followed by a dash, followed by the day night field. In this instance, day. To show this better, let's take a look at some of the incorrect formatting styles a lot of writers make. Here you can see the proper way to format a slug line, and some of the improper ways. Notice the first one. Many times writers will use the interior-exterior field, followed by two dashes, the set field, another two dashes, and then the day-night field. Look at the second one which just uses periods all throughout the slug line, including after the set field. The last two are more examples on how to not write a slug line, with the use of a continued or later that day at the end of the slug line. Writers will also use phrases like moments later or an hour later. You need to enter a time of day at the end of your slug line. Some of the acceptable entries for the day-night field are shown here. Notice that all these options are actual times of day. Day, night, morning, afternoon, etc. Now, that is not to say you cannot use other times of day. If you do, you will have to create that time of day entry into Gorilla so that it has an associated strip color. I will show you how to do that in another lesson. So let's go back to the screenplay. The next thing I want to explain is scene numbering. Notice that in this screenplay, the scenes are numbered. You can see that very clearly on the left and on the right hand sides of the screen. Normally, when you first start a screenplay, and I'm going to create a new blank screenplay right now, you will notice that the scenes are not numbered, which is fine. As a writer, you just want to concentrate on writing the screenplay. However, when you are preparing the screenplay for export, you want to make sure that all your scenes are numbered. In order to number your scenes, go up to the production menu. Now remember, this is in Final Draft. Select the Scene Numbers option and select the Number, Renumber checkbox and click OK. Once you do that, all your scenes will be numbered. Next, I want to explain what exports from your exported file into Gorilla. Now, this depends on which screenplay program you are using. If you are using Final Draft's FDX file format, then everything comes into Gorilla. This includes the slug line, the scene number, the action, the characters, the dialogue, and if you tagged your elements using tags mode in Final Draft, all your elements and what scenes that they are attached to also come in. So, for example, let's take a look at scene 6. In this scene, Barney has some dialogue. This means that Barney will be imported into Gorilla both as a character and Barney will be attached to scene 6 in the breakdown sheet. 
If we go to another scene, and here is another example in scene 7, where Barney and Chubby are both characters in a scene, but notice that Chubby does not have any dialogue. This means that when we export this, Barney will be attached to scene 7, but Chubby will not, even though he is part of the scene and does need to be attached to this scene. I'm going to save this FDX file on my desktop, as we will be importing this file into Gorilla. Now, this lesson does not go over tagging, which is something you can do in Final Draft 12 and, of course, in Gorilla Scheduling. You can watch the lesson on tagging the screenplay if you want to tag your screenplay before you import it into Gorilla. Now, if you're using Movie Magic Screenwriter as your screenplay program, most everything that you need also comes into Gorilla. The only data that doesn't is the action and the dialogue which does come in with the Final Draft FDX file, so that you can actually see the screenplay in Gorilla. If you are using Movie Magic Screenwriter, you need to export your screenplay into the .sex file format. In order to do that, go to the File pull-down menu, select the Export To option, and select the Gorilla Scheduling option. Before we import the screenplay file that we just exported, I want to comment on foreign language screenplays. If you are writing a screenplay in a language other than English, that's fine, and there is actually an option in Gorilla to display your day-night fields in a different language. You can find this option here under the View pull-down menu. There are 17 language choices you can choose from. Now, let's go to the Project Manager in Gorilla and see what we've got. If you select the New or Load Schedule button, and then select the Import Screenplay button, you will be asked if you are importing an FDX file, a SEX file, or a Fountain file. For this lesson, I will select the FTX file, since we will import all of the information from the screenplay into Gorilla. Now, this is a special note. If you are using Movie Magic Screenwriter, which exports to the .sex file format, and you really do want to see the screenplay in Gorilla, just like you can with the FDX, the Final Draft screenplay, there is a solution for this. Check out the lesson on how to import a Movie Magic Screenwriter file into Gorilla. Now, let's take a quick look and compare the information that was imported. If there are minor discrepancies in the screenplay section down here, that could be because of certain features in Final Draft 12 that are not supported in Gorilla, such as script notes and dual dialogue. If you have issues importing your FDX file, try removing all script notes from your screenplay. Of course, make a copy first, and then try importing the FDX file without the script notes. If you still have issues, try exporting your screenplay to the .sex file format, as that is a much simpler import method. Let's go over that method right now. Go back to Final Draft. From the Production pull-down menu, select Tags mode. Then, from the Production pull-down menu once more, select Tag All Characters. From the File pull-down menu, select Export, and then Script. In the File Format section, select Scheduling Export.sex, and then click Save. Now, go back to Gorilla, and from the Import Screenplay options, select the .sex option, enter a name for the schedule, and then click import. That's a wrap. Have a great shoot. <laughs> <laughs>